Okay, I'm in a pretty rural pasture, um, about two miles from home. My fuel light is on, but I'm almost done with this fence, so I think I'm gonna try to get this last little stretch done and then drive back with the fuel light on. Hopefully I don't end up walking or calling anybody. Meet the Peterson family. Our dad, the three Peterson brothers, and our families farm together in central Kansas. Our family farm started in 1882 and has been raising cattle and crops ever since. Please subscribe to this channel and give us a like and a comment if you enjoy the video. Okay, I did make it back and we're going to get some gasoline and sidekick. Okay, I'm back here behind the uh, M7, our reliable feeding tractor here. Been on the feed wagon continuously. Another group sorted for a May sale date. Two, three, four, five, six. These are the ones that'll be next sort up. Ones on the other side of the fence, they're a cell group. Bye cover. I wish you were bigger. But it seems like you gotta go. This is Triticale on a, on our irrigated ground. And uh, we'll hopefully be planting here on Tuesday before they use any more moisture. And hopefully we have several chances of rain next week. Hopefully one of them will, well, hopefully it'll turn out something for us. Here, watch the pinpoint, capstan pinpoint work. Bang. Oh, I really did not expect two, two April and May in a row of Hardly any rain, zero runoff. Usually we have excess rain in sometime in April and to the middle of May. Last year it came at the end of May. This year I hope it comes sometime. But this 90 degree weather these next few days is gonna make it pretty late for the week. I don't want to say too late, because last year it, it helped the wheat, but of course the wheat wasn't very good. Our wheat definitely has like a 30 bushel per acre max, and uh, I don't know, it's going to struggle. So we kind of have a ton of things going on today. Uh, Dad and Kendall just went up to... Um, start chopping some triticale. We're gonna get started just before this chance of rain because um, we uh, we need the feed and we want to see how things go. Um, but they're kind of just getting started those two and then um, Greg is uh, planting forage sorghum over on this other hill and then I'm getting ready to go spray a field of, um, of triticale cover crop that we're gonna terminate. Um, I wanted to let it go another week but uh, it's just awfully dry. Then while this is all going on, um, we have uh, the uh, spray foam guys here um, getting the spray foam on the shop building. So that's exciting. Um, they think they'll be done just in two days. So that uh, sounds pretty good to us. So uh, it's a definitely a busy day here on the farm. Looks like it's going pretty well. There's my fertilizer, he's in the wrong spot. But I parked in a different spot. Got some forage toward him going in the ground. All right, it's Monday. Planting some forage sorghum. This field was a uh, wheat last year, and then it was followed by double crop forage sorghum. So um, we are going back to forage sorghum full season after the double crop forage sorghum. And that's a, a common rotation we do. We also do it with uh, grain sorghum. We'll go wheat, double crop, grain sorghum, followed by full season grain sorghum uh, the next year. And so that, that works pretty good. Pretty good seed bed here. Uh, there is a little moisture still left in the soil uh, where we've got this no-till residue uh, cover and then we do have a chance of rain uh, this week which would be great for all these crops we're planting now uh, as far as the wheat it's used up all that 
all that moisture that was in the soil as it grows whereas these crops that are that are being planted there's been nothing growing here so we have a little bit of moisture to plant into there is our newly updated fertilizer rig so nathan uh, can spray with the semi i can plant with this diesel and uh it's working well so far i've only filled once with it but uh working pretty good for the first time since I did that air chamber and you can see the hose is really pulsing so I'm hoping that means it's it's taken taking a lot of that pressure and uh, so it seems to be helping finished up our second field of forage sorghum I'm gonna head back to the farm I think we're gonna switch to soybeans next um, I'm not sure if we'll get started on those today or not but uh, we'll see how the spray foam guys are doing you saw that update from when I drove past the farm earlier and then see how much triticale dad and Kendall have chopped as well and Nathan's been spraying busy day we're back at the yard here in the shop and they got most of the walls done in one day, that's pretty impressive. So uh, I think they're gonna come back and do the, the ceiling and finish the doors there and we'll have an insulated shop. That's pretty cool. All right, so I got the, 
the tractor fueled up and then Kendall and I are uh, taking out what's left of the forage sorghum seed that looks like Christmas. And then we'll put in the soybean seed. So the way we do that is we take this cover off here and we take this little funnel, the Great Plains gives you with the planter and stick it there. And then we'll take this plate off and the last little bit of seed will come down through here into the bucket. All right, so that's clean. And then the, the plate is taken out. This is the, the sorghum plate. And then we'll put the soybean, soybean plate in there. All right, it's the next day. There's a storm coming, we, we hope. It's coming for somewhere, hopefully it's coming for here. Nathan is uh, planting soybeans. This is our first field of soybeans to put in. Um, and this is the cover crop of triticale we're planting right into, just sprayed it a couple days ago. So it's been growing all winter. This is our irrigated field out of the river. And so, um, it's one of our favorite fields to, to kind of do trial runs of, of cover crops and planting and stuff. So it's exciting to, to kind of plant green. It's kind of tinged yellow now since we sprayed it, but we're planting green. Greg bought, brought me some Casey's and a pop. Shout out to him. Oh yeah, look at that. You just move on down here. Well, Greg, uh, I got some Casey's pizza on my clip. <laughs> Greg got the uh, forage sorghum planted yesterday, and then Kendall and him uh, switched the planter over to beans while I was finishing some spraying. This morning, um, well, there's scattered chances of thunderstorms for um, like the next several days, and we really need it. Uh, and I thought about waiting to plant these beans till. Uh, and until we see how much it rains and we would have moisture in the ground. Um, but I decided since I'd already sprayed this and I had residual chemical down, the, the uh, cover crop is dying, um, I wanted to get it planted just in case. I mean, it could get wet and it, then it would take a while to dry this flat field. Um, so I'm out here planting and you can see uh, it's getting a little dark around me. And there's a pretty good chance of rain for like four or five o'clock which I think I can get done with this irrigated portion by then. And if I don't get the uh, dry land, uh, I can live with that. Had to uh, move the pivot out of the way, um, but I've got it planted around. I've got all my headlands planted. So it's just back and forth now. Hopefully I can get this done and hopefully it also rains. Pretty much have, for the most part, everything done that, uh, that we needed to get done. We've just been waiting for rain basically so storms are coming people people all across kansas getting heavy wind and hard rain i believe so definitely definitely some hail i-70 getting hit all along i-70 down kansas so if we've got to deal with 70 mile power wind and uh, possibly hail. I really hope we get some rain with it, so.
only been a few minutes and uh, the wind shifted, it's blowing in, it's getting dark. According to the radar, we're kind of on the edge of it. But it also said it wasn't supposed to be here for another hour, so we'll see what happens. Well, I'm getting some rain, but it hasn't stopped me yet. One thing about planting in a cover crop is it, it keeps everything clean instead of sticky. And I'm still planting into dust, so... There's supposed to be a cell west of me that I am hoping will actually take me out. But I'm going to keep going a little longer. Well, now it's getting a little slimy. And a little bit of hail. So I, I think I'm done. I'm glad. I'm glad it rained me out. Whatever it takes. Soak it in. It is raining, so we're we're happy. The wind actually died down a little bit once the rain got here. Sounds good with the rain, and it looks good. All the stuff that was inside that roof that's now under this roof on this trailer, nice and dry. Rained out for the first time in a long time, everybody. It's a good feeling. Well, it took our wheat being in the ninth inning and uh, all of our equipment out of the shed because it was getting spray foamed. And a half, or a 90% uh, planted field. Anyways, all of that, but we finally got a rain. One of our neighbors, have some hay down. Had a swat there, triticale. So you got got to do what it takes, I guess. We're thankful. Boom. Still a little bit of lightning going on to the west. We got a few puddles. So that's exciting. The oats right out there is gonna hopefully grow a little bit from that. Okay, so double rainbow over there, and then we got like this orange tone lighting. Thanks for watching everyone. Check out our music videos linked in the description. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Snapchat, and explore our website www.petersonfarmbrothers.com. See you guys next time.